Well, this tree looks like it could fall on this house at any moment. It's causing one South Philadelphia family a lot of sleepless nights. They say their calls for help are going unanswered. Wakisha Bailey is live in Spring Garden to explain. Good evening, Wakisha. Good evening, Jessica. Well, this family says that they have just been given the run around and they keep running into all of these different roadblocks. So they reached out to us here at CBS 3 in hopes that someone will hear this story and give them a helping hand. This is home, right? Yes. And I don't like want to go anywhere. Due to physical limitations, Jenny Bowen is restricted to the first floor of her home, a place she's lived for more than 20 years. As long as I can take care of myself, I'm going to. But is it safe? Okay, we're actually heading out to the backyard of my mom's house uh, to this enormous tree. That Bowen's daughter, Cindy home. Candelori, shows us what they used to call their backyard. There's actually uh, wires hanging in between those branches as well. But now this tree has taken over. The tree was angled just a tiny bit, uh, probably December or January. From what we can see, it's being supported by wires and this old fence. Everyone keeps passing the box. Pico says L and I. Verizon says we don't cut trees. To make matters worse, this tree is not on the family's property. It belongs to the landlord who owns the house directly behind her. Meanwhile, we reached out to Pico. In a statement, they tell us they were, quote, on site in December. An investigator determined that there was not a safety issue as Pico's lines were not damaged and electric service was not being impacted. Her daughter worries every night she leaves her mom. I fear for her because she's here by herself. She certainly can't run out of the house being disabled, you know, if this tree comes down and, you know, I don't know that she'd even get a, enough of a warning to, to do that. We've been here so long, it is home. And the family tells me that they did reach out to a tree removal company to see just how much it would cost to get that tree removed, and it could cost them thousands of dollars that they do not have. Now, meanwhile, I did reach out to the landlord as well as Ellen and I, and I am still waiting to hear back from both of those parties. Reporting from Spring Garden, Wakisha Bailey, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Hopefully, they get that resolved mm -hmm. pretty soon. All right, Wakisha, thank you.